Heidi ho everybody. It is morning coffee with Rhonda. No John today, Aww. just me. But hey, I just got my Ninja coffee maker in. I am excited to show you about it. I'm excited to open it. But stay with me, come right back. I'm gonna show you what it's all about. Okay, so we're back and I have everything unpacked. I'm very happy with what I see. It's a nice looking coffee machine, stainless steel carafe, stainless steel drip container, a removable water reservoir like that because you don't have to worry about pouring in, dribbling and all that. It's just nice to have. A very nice digital display. You can pick between classic coffee, rich coffee or iced coffee. Classic is just your regular cup. Rich is if you like your coffee extremely strong, do rich. What's really nice about this is the brewing technology. I like because based on what size coffee you pick, whether it's the travel mug, half a pot, full pot, you select your coffee type, whether it's classic, rich, or over ice. When it brews, you're gonna notice that it's going to brew and then you're going to notice a little bit of silence and then it's going to start up again. Brew, silence, brew. And the reason it does that is to make sure that it saturates all the grounds so you get a full flavored cup of coffee every time. Love that because most pop coffee pots that I've owned in the past, you just turn it on, it drips, it drips, it drips until it's done. I'm happy I made an iced coffee so far and I've made a classic. I haven't done rich because I'm really not into rich coffee, but I was very pleased with the coffee that brewed out of here because I felt like I was at Starbucks or Caribou. Another thing I like is the Carafe stainless steel. There's not a heat plate on this particular model. They do have other models where they do have a heat plate and a glass Carafe, but you know what? We travel full time. So glass and RVs don't mix real well together. So I like the stainless steel. We tested the uh, temperature on it for over four hour period and I was surprised at how hot it stayed during that four hour period. No heat plate necessary. Another quick thing I like, this is your key to a success. This will tell you how many scoops of coffee to put in depending on the size you pick. This also goes with the brewing technology and why you get a perfect uh, tasting cup of coffee every time. For instance, if you're gonna do a full pot of coffee, it suggests four to six scoops, the large scoops of coffee into the filter. So four to five, what I did last time is I picked five scoops just to stay in the middle on the safe side. Put that in there, hit the full pot of coffee, brewed it, it really was a good tasting cup of coffee. Uh, same goes for the smaller side. If you're gonna do like just a small mug, it'll say two to three small scoops or three to five small scoops if it's a travel mug. Same thing, you can put your paper filter in there, put the coffee grounds in there, shut it, brew it, or set it, brew it, and you have the same cup of coffee every time. It's really nice. Um, another feature I like is that there's a delayed timer on there. How many of us like to get ready for bed, dream of the smell of coffee in the morning, but don't want to make it in the morning? You have a delayed brew, so before you go to bed at night, you can set everything up for it to have a full pot of coffee for you or whatever in the morning. And one key thing that I learned the hard way is when you're setting the timer, make sure that you set the size of the brew prior to setting the timer because it'll automatically default back to whatever you previously brewed if you don't do that. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna show you how to make an iced coffee because in the summer that's what it's all about is iced coffee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, brew a travel mug full of coffee. I'm going to pull this out, leave that there. I also wanted to show you that for a small mug, they do have a little tray here. You can put your small mug on there, put it back up when you're done. 
but we're gonna do a travel mug right now. Let me get it. We're just gonna set our travel mug underneath and it fits nicely. We're going to take this, pull it out. I already have a filter in there. This is coffee that friends of ours roasted for us and it is really good. Better than Starbucks or Caribou. So I'm just gonna do a travel mug and the travel mug says three to five small scoops. So I'm gonna do four. We're gonna do one, two, You know, the only thing that smells better than this is being in a flower shop full of roses. This is heaven. Push that back in. Make sure your drip stop is in the open position. Okay, we got our coffee in. We can push this over. Make sure that the drip stop is in the on position, not the off position, because you're gonna get an error message. That's ready to go. We can take this, flip it right to the, into the side of the coffee maker. Then what do we need? It's iced coffee, so we need ice. And we used to own a coffee shop years ago. And one of the tricks that we did was our leftover coffee from the previous day, we would put in the ice cube, ice cube trays, we'd freeze it, and we would use it for iced coffee the day after. It really makes for a more spectacular cup of iced coffee because you're not losing the watered down flavor when you just have plain ice in it. If you put in coffee ice cubes, which mm -hmm. this way you don't have to worry about watered down coffee but they still have the technology down that even if you don't do this your coffee is still not going to be watered down with iced coffee okay so i'm going to pick my travel mug i want it over iced so i'm going to pick over iced and then we're going to wait a few minutes well, not a few minutes, probably 30 seconds, and then you're gonna hear it brew. I hear it, I hear heaven. Yeah, there it is, there it is. While I'm waiting for that to brew, I'm gonna get some creamer. I know many of you like to do just half and half in your iced coffee, which is good. I like that too. My only problem is I don't have any Tarani syrup on hand right now. I usually do either hazelnut or sugar-free vanilla. You pour a little bit of cream and two tablespoons or so of your Tarani syrup and you have a wonderful tasting latte. Another quick fix I found was International Delight or whatever coffee creamer you like. You can use this in the place of your milk and flavoring, and it tastes just as good, if not better. So my favorite is, this is my new found love Manhattan hazelnut mocha. Really tastes good. So got those there, still waiting for the brew. I really do like the brewing technology in this because it stops not hear anything for a while and you're gonna think oh my coffee's done but no it's not done you gotta wait for the three beeps because it slows down and speeds up so it utilizes all the coffee grounds you put in for your cup of coffee okay magically done let's see what it looks like I'm going to take the drip stop I'm gonna put it in the off position just saves on cleaning and stuff but you know what? We have a very nice cup of iced coffee. And notice that my coffee ice cubes are still intact. We still have ice cubes left. I, today, am gonna to use the Manhattan Hazelnut Mocha to flavor. I don't measure, you just gotta go with, you gotta go with 
What feels right? Hey. We're gonna stir it up. And you can add more ice cubes if you like. Mm. I'm gonna add one more. Oh. Okay. You can add more ice cubes if you like. I'm gonna add one more. There we go. <laughs> there. Gotta love it. This is a cool machine. You know, if you like this machine, Ninja has a lot of different machines. If you like this machine, we'll put a link in the description below. Um, another cool trick, if you want frothed milk, Ninja also has a really cool blender for frothing your milk and you can make your fancy coffee. Another thing that I want to get from Ninja is a coffee, well, it's not a coffee frother, it's a blender. It's a handheld blender, but you could use it for frothing milk. Then you can make your fancy lattes and cappuccinos. I am glad you were with me today. I hope you like your coffee. Leave comments below. Let me know what you thought of this video. If I had anything I should add or not add, just let me know. I'm always open for improvements. Um, as always, if you like what you saw, boop that subscribe button and we'll see you soon.